everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another what's in my purse type of video. The purse that I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be the Speedy 30 Damier Ebean in the Louis Vuitton. Um, if you're interested in watching what I have in my Speedy 30, please keep on watching. Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, as for myself, um, you know, still staying quarantined at home. Um, you know, I mean, it's the best thing to do right now. I know I'm pretty sure many of you guys um, are bored at home. Um, but hey, you know, it'll all be over soon. Hopefully, um, hope and pray, you know, that this is, you know, you know, over soon because I know we're all probably going insane at home, but it's for the sake of all of us to, you know, stay home and, you know, um, try not to, you know, be out there when, you know, we know this COVID virus is out there. So, um, anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys what I have in my Speedy 30 Damir Ebeen. So um, I'm going to start off by um, showing you guys um, or the accessories that I have on my purse. Uh, so the first thing that I have on my purse is going to be these cute little pom-poms. You know, you, I think you guys know I love accessorizing my purses. Uh, so I put two cute little pom-poms. I cute, have a cute little teddy bear and it has, you know, some little charms hanging from the neck. Um, I also have, you know, this cute little scarf uh, and the lock. And yeah, this is what the purse looks like. Um, this is one of my favorite styles. Um, I don't know, I just, something about this style, it's just one of my favorites. I love just going and just holding my purse. Um, I, you know, I do like the, you know, handle purses. I'm not gonna say I don't, but you know, I don't mind holding it from like little handles and just being on the go, so. Anyhow, let's get started of what's, you know, as to what I have inside my purse instead of over here just jippity jeppity and talking non nonsense. So, um, one of the things that I did want to mention, um, so I know that my purses look pretty new and they sound still pretty stiff, um, only because I don't like to take my purses out all the time. I do like to rotate all my purses, so um, I think that's why... You know, they have that new feel still. Um, and as for the little handle, the zipper, um, I know a lot of girls like to just open the purse and they be bending this whole little leather piece. I don't. I like to, you know, from the little metal piece, I like to just open it, hold it, and um, just, yeah, just leave it alone. I know when I first purchased this purse, um, this was one of my first um, purses that I purchased. I didn't even think about it, but I pulled it and I did bent a little bit of the leather. I could see a little bit of the crease right there, but not it's not so it's not so bad. It's whatever. But I was like, oh, I don't want to mess it up. I was like, so I started just I was like, okay, I need to remember to just pull it from the metal. So that's what I do. So, anyways, let's see. Can you guys see? I'm gonna push a little bit down just so you guys can see as I'm pulling out. So the first thing that I have is going to be this um, this pouch, uh, and this pouch is, uh, I think for this purse I have everything dark. Um, I know I showed you guys on my other purse, um, I kept everything like it pink. Um, so for this one, it's all dark, dark colors. Um, this purse, or this little pouch is by Urban Expressions. And um, I'm gonna start with the zipper because it also has a cool little zipper in here where you can store some stuff. So I do have the keys for um, this purse. Um, and I usually, like I said, I don't ever lock it. I don't ever remove the lock. I just, you know, just leave it. Even when I store my purses, I store it with the lock. Um, so I do have the little keys on there and then the little papers that came with the, you know, with the purse. So there's that. Nothing special, just, so I guess since you guys can see from there, I'm just gonna pull as I go. Um, I also have some tissues. I have some blotting, some fresh face blotting paper, and these are by NYX. Uh, 
some feminine products. <laughs> you guys don't need to see that. My contact case. Um, this cool little container that I made. Um, it did have some cream before. Um, I did clean the whole lettering that I had um, on there. And um, I used um, nail polish remover to remove the lettering just because I really like the container. And since I do like to carry ibuprofen on me because I do suffer from headaches all the time, I think I usually get migraines because they're so bad. That's how bad my, my headaches are. They're migraines. Um, so I usually, if I have a really bad migraine or something that I'm just like, ugh, I need a, an ibuprofen. So there you go. I have some, I'm ready for some headaches. Whatever you, whatever pain you have, I will give you an ibuprofen. The next thing that I have is a bunch of hair ties. I think you guys know in my last video, I love these little hair ties. Um, these are like my favorite hair ties. I carry um, a set of hair ties in all my purses only because, you know, they come in handy if you just want to pull your hair, um, if you're tired from having your hair down. Um, yeah, I got you. I have um, a Milani black eyeliner. And it's a brand new one. Um, I try having brand new items in all my purses only because, you know, um, since I switch my purses all the time, I don't have time to be, you know, getting everything from one purse to another. I usually just want to just get it and throw my keys or whatever I have to, you know, just my, um, you know, my ID, my driver license, whatever. So I have another black eyeliner. And it's also by Milani. I think I told you guys in my last video. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. I did used to use the um, the ones from Sephora. Their eyeliners. Um, but I think their eyeliners are like $12. Versus Milani's eyeliners like $8 at Walgreens. So I mean that's a big difference. And they work just the same. So that's another thing that I love. I love Milani's. So, so far, I really do like Milani's products or makeup product. Um, I have my Carmex because so I cannot be without my Carmex. Um, another thing that I have, it's another little sample perfume. And this one, like I said, I like to um, refill these little containers with, um, this one has the Alien Muggler in here. Um, and then, I think, Oh, no, there's one more thing in here. Um, another thing that I have, it's this um, perfume that I got uh, from the Louis Vuitton store. So when you go and purchase your Louis Vuitton, you know, purses or whatnot, um, they usually try to pamper you. So, you know, they give you samples and, you know, they just make you feel like, oh, you're so special, whatever. So they gave me um, several sample perfumes of their, um, their Louis Vuitton. And this one is, I don't know how to say it, but it's Apogee or, or Apogee. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you guys can read it. Apogee. I don't know. It's in French, I'm sure. So anyways, and it smells amazing. Love this perfume. I think I'm going to go buy the big bottle, which I think their bottles go like $300, but... They're pretty big bottles. They're about, I want to say that big. And one spray goes a long ways. Like I think you just need to spray yourself once and you're good to go for the whole day. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Only because I sprayed that. And I know that once I spray it, I'm like, oh, that smells really good. So that's what I have in this pouch. And this pouch I purchased, um, at Nordstrom so it's a, they're nice little pouches so I don't remember how much I paid but it, I'm sure it wasn't that expensive uh, the next thing that I have and I showed you guys this before um, it's just my Kate Spade little wallet um, you have your back little you know slot for I don't know credit card for money and then you have two slots right here you have you know a place to put your driver license and several IDs um, I have my, um, oops, don't want to see that. I have my fingerprints clearance card. Uh, and here, oh, I have a receipt from my bank. Yep, 
I received from my bank. Um, oh, I also have um, the person that sold me my car. I just purchased my new Range Rover. I think I should, you know, you guys seen it in my last video. It's the, the guy, the person that helped me, the advisor. So I have his car just in case. There's that. Um, I also have this um, Kate Spade um, other little pouch. And um, this one has like cute spades on there. And they're all circles except for some, some of them are the spades. And yeah, this is pretty old, you guys. I had this for many, many years. Um, but it still looks really good. I mean, there is some wear and tear on it. Like, I see the little thing is coming apart. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to, I don't know, glue it. But it is falling. Hmm. Anyways. So, inside this um, pouch, and I don't even remember what I have in here. Because <laughs> I don't ever go in these pouches. I usually just... I don't know, I'm weird like that. So I have my ring um, that I gotta go get fixed because of the little diamond, which is in this little green little bag, Bell. Um, and this ring I had for a long time. So I went to go and get it fixed and they wanted to charge me, um, which I went to um, K Jewelers. And they wanted to charge me a couple hundred dollars to fix this ring. So I was like, e I didn't know if I wanted to pay the money at the time. Because they started, I went to go just put the diamond on. And then the um, gentleman there started saying, oh, you know, it needs more than, you know, you to put just a diamond on there. He started saying that the prongs are all like pretty worn out. And um, that they all needed to be fixed. So then, you know, they hit me with you know, a pretty big bill. So I was just like, oh, I'm going to wait on that. So I'm just waiting on it. But like I said, I had this for, let me see, my daughter's 20 years old. So more than 20 years old. I know it's, you know, a very old ring. There, um, my kid's father gave it to me. And yeah, it um comes in like, two pieces so I was very bummed out when that diamond came off um it came off several months ago like or maybe almost a year ago so I really missed my ring and I gotta go get it fixed I gotta stop being so greedy and just get it fixed but I will I keep forgetting honestly I did I totally forgot that I had my ring put away because the diamond and the prongs and all kinds of stuff needs to be fixed from me. Anyway, so that's what I have. So that, I don't know, and I have this um, little um, package with a little rock that my mom gave me. I don't know why she gave me a rock. And the tag from the purse. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a tag from this purse, but I am, I'm usually the type of person that will just take off the tag and stick it inside the bag. I don't know, I'm weird like that, so. But like I said, I purchased this little pouch years ago. I don't know how long ago, but it's been a long time. The next thing that I have, it's another pouch, and this one is also by Kate Spade. Um, this one you can use, you know, just to... Like, so I know I see girls just, you know, carrying this pouch in. That's, you know, and they're, you know, at the stores and whatever. So, um, this one has a cool little front pocket a zipper um, in here. Once again, I have the, the tags for this wallet. I, I'm here like that. I told you guys. I'm, I usually just purchase purses and stick the tags in all my purses. So there's that. Um, in here I have a piece of paper. And this paper is from my school. Or maybe not. Nope, it's my bank account. One of my bank accounts. It's just a paper. And in here um, it has 
couple little slots so you can put your driver license or your debit cards or whatever and then just throw your money in there and your lipstick your eyeliner for sure so i love eyeliners um and yeah just use it as a wristlet or you can just use it as a pouch what i'm using it for um the next thing that i have is a brand new mascara by milani and i always like to purchase um eyeliners mascara and just throw them in all my purses just in case i was to ever um use this purse and i totally forgot to exchange my mascara or my eyeliner and so i'm ready or whatever the next thing that i have in here is this cool little notebook um in this notebook i believe i also purchased um i want to say at tj maxx because a lot of the notebooks that i purchased for many of my purses um were from tj maxx i think so anyways this one says love is all you need and it's a cool little gold heart and i love love this notebook so once you write on there then it has a little you know it keeps you you know whatever page you're on or whatever so yeah so there's that it has polka dots Kind of Kate Spade inspired. I think I told you guys I love all the Kate Spade inspired kind of things with the polka dots and just that girly um, look. That's what I like. And also like oh another thing. So I know that I told you guys all oh, everything's pretty dark. So it does has black black dots on it. So it kind of goes with the the theme that I have. Um and then I guess that's it. Oh wait nope. The next thing that I have is my car keys. Nothing special to me it is, but I know you guys don't care, so. And also I have the purse organizer and I'll take it out so you guys can see. So here's the purse organizer. Um, I did chose a red purse organizer. I also purchased this organizer from Amazon. Um, only because I know that there are several, you know, organizers that are, are pretty expensive. I want to say this one was, I don't know, like $15. I don't even know, but it was no more than $20. Um, but it, it, it did come with like um, several dividers. I didn't find the use for the dividers, so I just took them out and whatever. So it has a couple pockets. Pockets right here, pockets right here. Another big pocket if you wanted to just store stuff. I usually just don't even put anything in there besides I think I put my keys in one of the front pockets. And then the inside, it's all red. Beautiful red interior. Very cute. Um, and with those organizers, your purses will always stay pretty nice. Um, like I said, um, I don't want nothing to ever spill in it. If it does, you know, it'll spill in this versus inside my purse. So that's a good thing about those organizers. Um, it will keep your purse from getting dirty. So um, anyways, I know a lot of the girls um, that I've seen, you know, that wear this kind of purse, they like their purses to sag. And you know, I mean, that's cute, you know, cute look. But for myself, I do like to keep the organizers and just kind of just keeps the purses look, looking, you know, like, like a little square or whatever. So yeah. This is my purse. And anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to comment down below, make sure you comment down below. And, you know, just, you know, with any suggestions you guys may have or ask questions or anything that, you know, I can answer. Please make sure you guys, um, you know, leave me a message on the bottom. Thank you. Ciao.